Hey family, welcome to Live and Gather. I'm Star, and on this channel, I make content about home decor, DIY, and home inspiration. In this video, I am doing brunch for me and my friends. I'll show you guys how we set up the table and how we set up our mimosa bar. So stay tuned for that. If you have not done so, um, if you have not done so, subscribe to this channel below. Give this video a like and tell me what you think in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. So y'all know I love a good tablescape. So I actually just threw this tablescape together. I started with a blue table runner that I got from Amazon that I thought was just a really pretty muted blue. And then I got these different risers, cake stands um, in different colors, different heights. And I just thought that I would just put them together and kind of play around with it to make an arrangement. I think that it's important to add different heights in your tablescape so that things don't look one dimensional. And that's why you see here that I have things that are different heights, different sizes, um, just to just add dimension to the table. Although it was brunch, it was a pretty gloomy day and my dining room doesn't get a ton of light, especially if it's not super bright outside. So it was actually the perfect day to do a candle lit brunch, which you typically don't do candle lit unless it's actually like dark. But since it was a little dark for, especially for it to be brunch time, I thought it was the perfect day to actually set the candles up and light them as well. So I just purchased some grocery store flowers and I've got two different kinds, two different bouquets, and I just pulled them apart to just add some florals to my tablescape. I am just filling in the um, open spots with florals where I see fit just to make it look nice and full and pretty. So I'm using these cane charger plates for this table setting. I actually sell these in my shop. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link to the description box for you to be able to go and purchase those. I also added these amber water glasses to this tablescape as well. I also use these pretty beige and white linen napkins in this tablescape as well. And I'll also leave a link to those in the description box as well, as they also come from the Live and Gather shop. So now we are just setting up all of the food to our tablescape. We did an assortment of fruit and French toast, waffles, different breakfast meats and eggs. It was definitely a feast. Okay, now for the really fun part, the mimosa bar. So to make this mimosa bar setup easy, I used a mimosa bar kit that you can purchase from Amazon or Target. It comes with all of the signage and labels that you need 
to set up your mimosa bar and make it look really cute. It comes with the tags for the different juices you might choose to add to your mimosa bar as well as labels for fruit that you can add as well. It also comes with two different types of cute straws. It also comes with these cute little signs that you can frame for your mimosa bar, especially if you're doing it for a setup for an event. But I wasn't, I was just doing a small brunch for friends in my house, so I just decided to pop the signs up just the way that they were. And it also comes with a really, really cute banner. The banner says, but first mimosas. The mimosa bar kit came with signs for an assortment of different fruit, but I just used the ones for the fruit that I was adding to my bar, which was strawberries, blueberries, and oranges. And here's how everything turned out. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about this brunch tablescape in the comment section below. Subscribe if you have not done so already. Make sure you like this video and until next time, love star.